Hi everyone, this is Vivek. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy Flutter web app in cPanel. Here, I have my Flutter web app running in my browser. Let me show you quickly. So, this is simple static web page generated with AI. In order to deploy this project in production, we have to create a optimized build and you can create that build with simple command flutter build web simply go to terminal and run this command flutter build web this will simply generate a build folders and files for our project inside the build directory and here you see it is successfully built in few seconds so let's go to build folder and inside this web folder we have our web build ready simply right click on this web and click on rebuild in file explorer and then go inside this web and these are the files and folder that we need to deploy this project simply select all of these files and we are going to uh, compress this in our zip file so if you don't have software like winrar Please install it and then you can compress the project files uh, let me simply hover on send to and you can see compressed zip folder this will create a zip file and we can simply name it plotter now we will log into cpanel and upload this zip file in public html directory and if you want to deploy this web app in subdomain you can simply create a subdomain first and inside file manager you will see the folder with the subdomain name and we have to extract this zip file here so let me do this quickly so open your browser and log into your cpanel account so uh, this process will work for all type of uh, C panels okay like all types of C panel meaning like different types of uh, panel are offered by different hosting companies so everything will be same okay only this user interface is different so you don't need to worry if you are using any other hosting providers simply if you want to deploy this in main domain then you don't have to create a subdomain but if you are testing and uh, want to deploy it in subdomain then you can simply go to this subdomain section and simply click on your or you can simply type your subdomain name like uh, flutter i will simply name it flutter.neptechpal.com and here it is a document root and it is inside public html and inside their plotter folder okay or uh, this subdomain name can be anything okay no need to write plotter just because it is a plotter app we can simply write flutter okay and document root can be flutter create subdomain and this will simply create subdomain in few seconds now let's go back to home and now let's go to file manager and inside file manager you can see the public html folder so if you scroll down here you can see public html folder simply go there and here you can see uh, the flutter if folder so if we are publishing this web app in the main domain then we have to upload the zip file here and extract it but we are publishing in a subdomain so we have to find that folder here so i can see right here so as we are publishing in subdomain we have to go inside this folder and upload a zip file here and extract okay so here you can see folder is empty simply we can click on upload 
and here it is saying upload files okay i will select and i will simply click on to get the file simply it is inside plotter swift swift plotter vivek app build web and here you see flutter zip file let me open this and it will take few seconds to upload click on the upload button located above and now upload is completed now we have to extract this zip file simply click on extract here and I guess our website is live so let me check in the domain name uh, it is flottery.neptechpol.com as you can see here Vivek app is uh, ready and up and running here so it will take few seconds to load but it is deployed in the subdomain so guys how's this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you have any problems while following the steps on here please don't hesitate to comment below thank you for watching